Hello everybody and welcome to 2023 top 10 albums and top 10 songs. I am so excited to be making this video. I've actually already filmed it once and once I finished, I realized the video was like an hour and a half long. So I am refilming because I need to not explain so much for each album and for each song. However, before we jump into it, I am going to give a disclaimer. I hate that I have to make a disclaimer, but I know that I have to make a disclaimer. Okay, these top 10 albums and top 10 songs that I choose are 100% my opinion. It would absolutely shock me if I have the exact same top 10 albums and top 10 songs as you. So that being said, just because I don't include a specific song or if I don't include a specific artist, it does not mean in any way that I hate that song or that I hate that group or I hate that soloist or whatever it may be. I love music for what it is. I do not care which group or which artist puts out a song. If it is a song that I like, I like it. I'm not someone that doesn't listen to specific groups. I think that that is so childish. And personally, I think that is so childish and I think that's so petty. And I think that people are missing out on really great songs um, if, you, if you are that close-minded. That is my opinion. Um, so if you are someone that's going to get offended that certain groups are being talked about or that certain groups are not being talked about, I suggest that you just leave now because we're going to be talking about a multitude of groups, um, but we are not going to be talking about every single group. Like, for example, I know that like Red Velvet, for example, is a very well-known, very popular group, and I'm sure that they're wonderful. I just don't think I've heard any of their music, and I'm not going to be speaking about them. If that doesn't mean that I, that I think that they're terrible or that I hate them, it's not like that at all. There are so many groups out there that are popular that I just don't listen to. And it's not because I don't like them. I, just, I, I hate that I have to make this disclaimer, but I have to make this disclaimer because I know people are gonna say, well, what about this group? I can't talk about everybody and I can't know everybody. I don't have the time in the day. I would love to know everybody, but if there's a group that you really like, put them down in the comments because that's the beauty of these videos is that I get to know so many new groups and so many new songs through watching other people's top 10 albums of the year, top 10 songs of the year. If a lot of people are talking about the same song that I've never heard of, I usually check it out. And then I can discover these great new artists or these new songs or these new groups that I haven't heard before. So that is my disclaimer that I unfortunately have to give. Okay, we are going to go through top 10 albums. First, I am going to be very brief with it because I don't want this video to be insanely long. Um, so yeah. I am going to tell you right now, I did narrow it down to 10. However, I do have 13 albums sitting here because my, they're this, the last six. So number eight, nine, 10, and then I guess 11, 12, 13, those six albums were put in and taken out and put back in and taken out and rearranged in order so many times. I would say my top seven are solid. They have been my top seven for since I started figuring this out. But 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I had such a tough time with. So I'm going to go through my top 10. And at the end, I'm going to let you know what the other three albums are just because I have to talk about them. So anyways, we are going to be brief with this and we are just going to go through my top 10 albums. So coming in at number 10 is... FML by Seventeen. This is their 10th mini album. I love Seventeen so much. I got to see them in concert in 2022, I believe. I uh, became a carrot in Face the Sun era and I just love them so much. I think they are such a talented group of individuals. My bias, I have two biases. S. Coops, who is like the actual love of my life. I have the fattest crush on that man. And then Dino, who is the Machne of 17. Um, this album is so good. My favorite songs off of it are I Don't Understand But I Love You, which is done by the performance unit, and Fire, which is done by the hip hop unit, which is my favorite unit of 17, if I had to choose but this album so good non-skip album obviously all these albums are non-skip albums or they wouldn't be included in this list 
So number nine is going to be Rockstar by Stray Kids. This album just came out not that long ago, pretty recently. Um, we've gotten so many good songs. I mean, all of them are good songs off this album. Rockstar is probably one of my favorite Stray Kids albums of all time. Um, my bias in Stray Kids is Han. I love Han so much. And I also love, I love all of them, but Changbin and Chan are my records. So three Racha is my like bias line, but Han is my number one bias in Stray Kids. Um, this album is so good. I think Stray Kids are just a group who is super popular, but I think they're just so misunderstood. Um, they, I feel like got put in this box of being noise music. And I think that they are so much more than that. Their discography is is so diverse and I, I just hate that they are one of many groups. I know that so many groups are misunderstood, but I just hate that if you don't listen to Stray Kids or you've never listened to Stray Kids, you already go in with this like preconceived notion that they are this noise music group. And though they do have noise music, which is amazing, I love noise music. They have so much more than that. They have ballads, they have, emotional songs that are just absolutely amazing the members are so funny they are so they are so kind they are just a great group and i love stray kids a lot and i hope to see them in 2024 i'm hoping for a stray kids tour um but yeah so coming in at number nine is rockstar coming in at number eight we have temptation by two Mara by together txt uh, the name chapter Temptation. This album is so amazing. I did get to see them live um, this year and they actually, fun fact, were number one on my Spotify wrapped. TXT was my number one, which I think is because I saw them in concert. I mean, I love them, but I think it's because I saw them in concert. So I was listening to them like for months leading up to the concert. This album is so good. This album is beautiful. Like the photos in this album are just to die for. I love TXT so much. My bias in TXT is Yeonjun. My record is Bumgyu, but I love all five of them with my whole entire heart. And I think my favorite song out of Temptation is Tinnitus. It's a banger. You should definitely listen to it if you haven't. So that is number, uh, where are we? Eight. Okay. So the other three I'm going to mention at the end were like back and forth with those three a billion times, but my top seven has been pretty much solid for like a month that I've started to think about this. So coming in at number seven is Deadlock by Extinary Heroes. This is my copy. It's actually signed by Jungsoo, who is the keyboardist in the band. Uh, Extinary Heroes is a K band, I guess, under JYP. They are so good. Oh my gosh. Uh, their discography is flawless. If you have not listened to x Mary Heroes, you definitely should. Their debut album, Hello World, is still, I think, my favorite album out of all of them. Uh, you, uh, some of you might have heard, like, Strawberry Cake is super popular, Test Me is super popular, um, and those are off of other albums, but Deadlock came out this year, and it is just immaculate. We got so many good songs off of this, and I just love the six members of x Mary Heroes with all my heart. My bias is Jungsoo. I think I said that. This one's signed by him. Um, they're so good. They are on tour right now. I think they're in Europe, and I am so hoping, so hoping that they come to the United States. I would love to see them. If you have not given, like, K-bands a chance, you definitely should check out x Mary Heroes. They do have slower songs they do have more upbeat band songs like again go on with an open mind if you've never listened to a k band and you are finding yourself thinking i wouldn't like that um because unfortunately i thought the same thing and then i listened to them and they are now one of my favorite groups ever and this album is just flawless so that is number seven <clears throat> coming in at number six is Psyker's House of Tricky, How to Play. And this is actually signed by Junmin. Junmin is my bias and Junmin is actually my baby old. This group, Psyker's, is under KQ Entertainment, which is the same group as ATs. if you have never heard of them. They debuted this year. This is their second album. They debuted this year. 
This is already their second album and they already are on a world tour. It's absolutely insane. I did get to see them live last month in November and I got to do high touch and I got to meet the members and it was just so great. And Psychers has quickly become one of my old groups which is absolutely crazy to say, but this album is so good. This is, their, this is their second album. They have their debut album. This is their second album. It's so good. My favorite song off of this is probably, probably Coom, honestly. I got to see them perform it live and it was just life-changing. So yes, this is number six. If you've never checked out Psychers, you should totally check them out. I think they are just rookie, like monster rookies. They, I think they're severely underrated. I say that a lot. I know that there's so many amazing rookies that we've gotten this year, like ZB1 and Rise, and there's there's more. I'm not like Boy Next Door. I'm not, I, they're slipping my mind, but Psychers, I think, is just not talked about as much as those others, and that's totally fine. It's, it's opinion-based, but I think they're great. I love them. They're 10 member group and every single one of the members is just the, just a bundle of joy. And I love them so much. So that was number six. Number five is another group that I think are severely underrated. And that is TNX Love Never Dies. This is their third album, I think. Is it their third album? I don't know. It doesn't say. But TNX, Love Never Dies, TNX is a group, a six member group under P Nation, um, which is size label. And this album is just flawless. I love their music so much. Again, I just think they're so underrated. If you've never heard of TNX, you need to. Um, their most recent album, which is called Boyhood, not this, not this album, but their most recent album called Boyhood, has the song Kick It For Now. And I think that a lot of people discovered TNX through that song, which I absolutely love. A song off of here that might be familiar to you is Love or Die. Um, but my favorite song off of this is I Need You. My bias is Jun Hyuk, who is on hiatus and I miss him so much, but I love all six of these members dearly. And I just think their, their entire discography is flawless. Like I, there's not a single song on any of their albums that I dislike. I. I just love them a lot, so definitely check out TNX. They also go by The New Six. I don't, I still call them TNX. I, I love them a lot. You should definitely check them out. So this is number five. Coming in at number four is none other than Lana's Ultimate Bias. Jimin Face. A lot of you probably assumed that this is gonna be my number one album of the year. However, it comes in at number four simply because my other three, I just listen to more than I listen to this one. Uh, there, I listen to, this is a non-skip. All of the albums I've mentioned are non-skip albums. Um, Jimin is my ultimate bias. He, if you don't know who Jimin is, he's a member of BTS. I think everyone knows that, but this album is so good. We got two amazing music videos out of this. Uh, I miss Jimin so freaking much. Look at how gorgeous this man is. Um, I just love him so much. I I had super high expectations going into it and I was not disappointed in any way. Face is immaculate. And if you have not listened to this album, you need to because it's so good. Okay, coming in at number three, we were now at our top three albums. Number Number three, number three is, it's hard because I almost put this album at number two, but I didn't because it, they're neck and neck. But number three is Golden by Jungkook. It's at number three simply because I haven't listened to it as many times as I've listened to number two. And that's probably has to do with like, this came out more recently than the one at number two but it doesn't matter. This album is flawless. This album is everything. I love Golden so much. Fun fact, this album packaging is my favorite album packaging of 2023. It's just stunning. Like it it could be like a decor like a decoration. It's just beautiful. It also comes in white and green, which I have the other versions upstairs. But it, 
This album is so good. Um, it's Jungkook of BTS, who is the maknae of BTS. And this album is all in English, which I know was controversial. And it's, I think that's so dumb why it was controversial, but it's so good. Like every single song is, a, it's, it's non-skip. I know that a couple people I saw didn't like a few of the songs on there. I love all of them. Like it's so good. It's very, it's diverse. There's, there is sad songs, there's upbeat songs. You get everything in this album and it's just a masterpiece. And I am, I am so sad. They literally just left um, and went to the military, but I am eagerly awaiting, well, eagerly awaiting more Jungkook music because Golden is just everything. So that is my number three album coming in at number two which was very close to being number three. Like, honestly, they could they could flip-flop each day, but coming in at number two is House of Tricky, Doorbell Ringing. This is Psychers, like I mentioned earlier. This is their debut album. <sighs> this album is so good. This one is actually signed by Hunter, who is one of the members of, I almost said BTS, which is one of the members of Psychers. Um, this album is just so good. Uh, their title track off of this was House of Tricky, which I'm sure that if you heard it, you would probably recognize it. It kind of, it didn't blow up, but their title track is very well known. I'm, again, I'm not gonna talk a lot about it because I talked about them in their other album, number two, which was my sixth spot. But I just love Psyker so much. I think their day al debut album is just, absolutely amazing 10 out of 10 non-skip so good if you have not checked out psychers you should really check out psychers but yep so number two and number one the moment we've been waiting for i want to know if anybody guessed that this would be my number one album of 2023 are we ready the suspense my number one album of 2023 D-Day by August D. Did you guess it? Did you guess it? I don't think, I think that's gonna shock some people. I really do. I really don't think that a lot of people would think this is my number one album. This, okay, so last year, my number one album was Indigo by RM. Indigo by RM is my favorite album of all time. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. This was just like that. When I heard this album, I was like, this is this is it. Like, I didn't even have to think twice about what was going to be my number one album. I love this album so much. We got so many good collabs off of this. We got pump up music. We got sad music. We had amazing music videos come out of this album. I'm wearing my August D t-shirt because I got to see him live in Oakland when he was here back in, when was that? Like March or I don't know, I could be totally wrong. I don't, this year was a blur. Um, but I was so lucky to get to see him perform a lot of these songs live and it just was life-changing. And this album is absolutely amazing. And if you have not listened to this, I'm talking to you, Anitra. I think you, or is it you that hasn't listened to this if you're watching? I can't remember. You have to stop everything you're doing and listen to this album because I mean, it's my number one album of the year for a reason. I. It's immaculate. Okay, so that is my top 10 albums. Now I'm going to show you the other three because I have to. Like, I have to show you what the other three are because they were switched in and out so many times. So first we have Layover by Tay. This is the Weavers album and it has his dog. It's so cute. Um, so I wanted to mention this album specifically because this album is so good. Again, another non-skip album. And the my reasoning as to why it's not included is simply because I feel like this album has just a very distinct vibe to it, which makes it, which makes me like not listen to it like daily. Like I kind of, and this is just my personal opinion. If you listen to this daily, like that's wonderful. This is just my personal opinion is that I need to be in like the right mood and the right environment, the right vibe to put on layover and listen to it in its entirety. 
if that makes any sense. So that is like simply the only reason. Layover is immaculate, it's so good. 10 out of 10, non-skip album. I just, for me personally, I need to be in like the right mood, the right headspace to like reach to turn it on. So Layover, so good. Then we have A Teases, The World Episode 2 Outlaw. This one is signed by Yuno, it's kind of hard to see. This album, so good. We got Bouncy from this. We got Dune from this. We got Django from this. Like, so good. My bias in 80s is Woo Young. Um, <clears throat> I think I've talked about all my other biases. But so good. Again, it, it went in and out. There's really no reasoning other than I listen to other 80s albums more than I listen to this one. But this album is so good. We got so many amazing songs from it. So that is my reasoning for that. And then lastly... Dark Blood by Unhypen. I got into, I've always known who Unhypen were, but I really got into Unhypen through this album. And now I'm like, I really love Unhypen a lot. Uh, we got some great songs from this that I'm going to talk about more later, but non-skip album. There's really no great reason why they're not in top 10. There's just so many good albums that were released. So yes. Those are my like honorable mentions, but that is my top 10 albums. Again, there are so many groups that put out so many great albums and just because they're not in my top 10 doesn't mean that I dislike them in any way, shape or form. I just, I can only pick 10 and these were my personal 10. So now we are going to get into top 10 songs and I'm going to be brief with it because we're at 21 minutes and I'm trying to make this not super long. And after my top 10, I do have a list of honorable mentions that I'm just going to run through really quick because it was so hard. Top 10 albums was hard. Top 10 songs was so difficult to narrow down. So we are going to go through my top 10 songs and I'm going to play you a little snippet of each song because I think it'll be fun. So coming in at number 10, we have... Bouncy by ATs, which comes from Outlaw, and Bouncy is just so good. I'm not gonna say a whole lot about each one because obviously they're so good. That's why I chose them as my top 10 songs. But Bouncy by ATs is number 10. Absolutely love this song, love the music video, love the performances. So good. Coming in at number nine, we have. Good Enough by Extinary Heroes. This is what I'm talking about. This is that K band that if you have like a preconceived notion about a K band, this is Extinary Heroes. Their discography is flawless. They do it all. They do heavy hitting rock. They do heartbreaking ballads like Good Enough. And I love that Good Enough. I think a lot of people discovered Extinary Heroes this year through this song. And that makes me so freaking happy because this song is just so good. I love it so much. So Good Enough by Extinary Heroes is my number nine. Next we have, I'm honestly shocked that this song was not like my number two on Spotify wrapped. I don't genuinely don't know how it didn't, I didn't, it didn't get number two on, or number one, honestly, on Spotify wrapped because it plays all the time. Number two, we have. It's you and me in this world. Number eight, we have Bite Me by Enhypen, which comes from Dark Blood. This song single-handedly got me very invested in Enhypen. It is so good. This song was literally everywhere. I would be sh genuinely shocked if you haven't heard this song. Uh, the choreo is everything. The outfits, the stage presence, the song itself is just so good. I love Bite Me so much. It plays all the time. It like is one of those songs that just like when a playlist ends, this one just comes on. So <laughs> I love it so freaking much. 
Okay, coming in at number seven, we have. Coming in at number seven, we have Face Off by Jimin. This song comes from his album, Face. And this is 100% my favorite song off of Face Off. It is, or Face Off, off of Face. It's called Face Off. It's so good. His voice is amazing. It's just, again, 10 out of 10. Love it. I miss Jimin so much. So that is number seven. Okay, coming in at number six. Ah. Coming in at number six is So I Danced by DPR Ian. If you only watch my YouTube videos, honestly, if you only watch my YouTube videos and follow me on Twitter, you're probably like, wait, what? DPR Ian, you've never once talked about DPR Ian. I know it's because I just got introduced to him like a couple months ago by Anitra or Say What Reacts here on YouTube. Thank you so much if you are watching this for introducing me into this exceptional human being. If you are like me and you had no idea who DPR Ian was and you have the time and you want to just go deep down a, dab a, a dabbit hole, a rabbit hole, look up DPR Ian because he is just one insanely beautiful human being who makes incredible music and is just a insanely fascinating human being. He is so kind. He is so genuine, pure hearted, and his story is absolutely amazing. And if you, if you are interested, look him up and listen to his music and Shameless plug, Anitra, Say What Reacts on YouTube, interviewed him. She interviewed him. And I am just so over the moon excited for her. She is a huge fan of his. And she got the chance to interview him. And you need to go watch that. It's on her YouTube channel. The, the full, it's like two hours long with him. And it's so good. And you have to go watch it and just, uh, I know that I've talked a lot about him. Just, I think it's just because I've never talked about him. So like, I have to talk about him. It's so good. Uh, this song, So I Danced is off of his album, Dear Insanity, which came out this year. Um, all of his songs are just absolutely incredible. I haven't listened to all of his songs yet because I just discovered him, but the songs that I've heard, absolutely incredible. Okay, moving on, coming in at number five, we have... Coming in at number five, we have Psyche by Psykers. This is off of their debut album, House of Tricky, Doorbell Ringing. This is my favorite Psyker song thus far. It's, it's just, it hypes me up. It's so good. I got to see it live. The, them performing this live is just everything. They are such great performers and this song is just immaculate. So that is my number five song, Psyche by Psykers. Okay, coming in at number four. Guys, I don't know where this came from, but this has put me in a chokehold. This came out a month ago and it's already number four on my top songs of 2023. It came out a month ago. That is how much I am obsessed with this song. I listen to this song at least, at least once a day, but probably more like four or five times a day. And I've seen, I think every single video of them performing this live. So this song has me in a chokehold and I love it. And I love everything about this song. So coming in at number four, we have. Coming in at number four, we have In Hypen's Sweet Venom. This is off of their newest album, Orange Blood. So good. Again, this that album is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> I don't know a whole lot about it hyping yet, but I'm getting into them. I'm very interested by them. And this song is just 
so good. It's very like Michael Jackson vibes is what I get from it. It's super fun. The dance is amazing. The music video is one of my favorite music videos. I just, I just love it so much. It makes me really happy. And yeah, like I said, it came out a month ago when it, and it made it to number four. So that is how much I love that song. Okay, coming in at number three. Number two and number three were hard to figure out which one was gonna be number two and which one was gonna be number three. But ultimately, coming in at number three, we have. Coming in at number three, we have D-Day by August D, which was my number one album of the year. It was upside down. I love the song so much. This was the first song off of the album and it just set the album up for just greatness. And I did a reaction to the album, like the album listen. And I think instantly I was like, oh yeah, like this is, this is, this is going to be probably my favorite song off the album. And it's so good. It's so hype. It makes me feel like I can conquer the world. I listen to it daily. Um, it's everything and I love it so much. So that is D-Day by August D. Okay, coming in at number two, we have this song, which I love dearly. We have Hate You by Jungkook. This is off of Golden, his newest album. This is my favorite song off of the album. It is so heartbreaking, but it is so beautiful. He sounds amazing singing it. I just reacted to the visualizer like two hours ago. Um, you're gonna obviously see that before you see this, but this song is just so good. I can't say enough about it. I love it so much. So that is why it is my number two song. And coming in at number one, again, just like my album of the year, I wanna know if you even like had this on your radar because I think that I'm going to surprise a lot of people with this song coming in at number one my favorite song of 2023 I love this song so freaking much it's my favorite song of 2023 but this is probably like top five favorite songs of all time so coming in at number one we have We have Amygdala by August D off of D-Day. Ah, it's so freaking good. Oh my gosh. I really want to know. Comment down below if you if you even had this on your radar. Because I think I'm going to surprise a lot of people with this. I This song is just perfection. It is, it is, again, probably like top three. Honestly, top three favorite songs of all time. This is so good i'm in love with this song i'm in love with this music video i'm in love with this album oh i just i love it so much if you have not heard if you have not heard this song stop everything you're doing and listen to this song because it is just absolutely pure perfection and i i miss yungi so much and i'm so excited for when he comes back and we get more augustine music because augustine music is some of my favorite music so okay those were my top 10 songs I am sure I surprised you. Um, let me know down below if you expected Amygdala to be number one. Let me know if you even expected it to be on my top 10. Um, I'm super curious. So now I do have a short list of honorable mentions that I want to talk about. Some of you might be thinking you did not talk about any girl groups at all. I just want to quickly say I do listen to girl groups. I do think girl groups dominated 2023. Um, I'm not a girl group hater in any way. I love girl groups. I just don't listen to them as much as I listen to boy groups. And that's just, that's the only reason. However, I do have a few girl group songs that I think were just absolutely amazing that I listen to like on a daily basis. And those are Drama by Espa. Drama by Espa was almost number 10 on my top 10 songs. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I don't know what it is. I love the dance. I love watching, I've seen every single one of their like live stage performances on YouTube that is available. I've seen it, like, trust me, I've seen it. I'm obsessed. I, I don't really know much about Espa. I, I just love this song, it has a hold on me. So Drama by Espa. We also have 
super shy by new jeans so good i love new jeans new jeans is probably my favorite girl group and then also perfect night by la seraphim so freaking good um so those definitely are honorable mentions okay i'm just gonna run down the list of other songs i loved bona bona by treasure again chokehold i don't know where that song came from i don't know much about treasure but that song is so good it makes me so happy and i listen to it daily complex by or Comflex, Comflex by Stray Kids off of the Rockstar album, Banger. Back For More by TXT off of their newest album, what is it, Free Fall? Um, that came out this year. That's actually their most recent album. I just, I, I just prefer Temptation more than I prefer that, but Back For More by TXT, so good. Favorite, the song Favorite by a group called POW. They're new, they're a new group. They debuted this year. They're so good and their song favorite is a banger. It reminds me a lot of like, like a TNX, like really good music, really cute members, like adorable members, Yorch, who was my bias in Trainee A and obviously Trainee A didn't happen. He is in POW and so I discovered them because of Yorch, otherwise I probably wouldn't know about them. So if you haven't heard about them, you should look up their song favorite. It's their debut, I think it was like their debut song I don't know but it's so good so favorite baggy jeans by nct 127 girl oh I don't know what it is when I first heard it I hated it I hated it and I'm obsessed with it now it's so catchy I just I I don't know a lot about nct um I don't I don't I really don't but baggy jeans it's so funny because when I first heard it I'm like this is so dumb and then I listened to it and now I'm addicted it's so good SOS by King Daniel. Oh, love King Daniel so much. SOS is so good. We have Love or Die by TNX, which is off of Love Never Dies that I talked about earlier. Rainy Days by V is my favorite off of V's solo album. It's so good. Um, Tinnitus by TXT. Huh by Augusty featuring J-Hope, which is off of D-Day. So freaking good. Dune by ATs. Top Line by... Stray Kids, and then lastly is Mad by, I think his, I think it's B-E-O, B-E-O -B is how you spell it. I don't know if you say it B-E-O, but Mad by the artist B-E-O. He's a soloist. I love, he has a song Counting Stars that is super popular, but he just released a song called Mad, and he is an adorable human being, and I love him a lot, and that song is really good, and it just came out, so you should definitely listen to it. Okay, that is all I wrote down. Obviously, so many more songs than that, but those are just the ones that I jotted down that came to mind. So anyways, we are almost at 40 minutes. So I'm going to stop here. Those are my top 10 albums and top 10 songs of 2023. Please let me know down in the comments which your, what your top 10 songs and top 10 albums were. I would love to know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to do this again next year in 2024 and happy new year. I'm wishing you guys a very safe and happy 2024. And thank you for sticking with me through another year. Love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.